Hey beauty, it's Jillian and welcome to your 30 minute yoga practice. Today we're going to do a bit of both the upper body and the lower body, focusing on opening up the chest and back as well as the hips and the quadriceps. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start all the way down on the mat, in on our belly, in what I like to call beach pose. So as if you were coming down to lie on your beach towel, your arms can either be up by your shoulders or tucked back by your hips, and you can rest either cheek or forehead on the floor. I'm gonna turn my head to the side and rest my cheek on the floor. And as you do, just take a moment to kind of wiggle out any tension, any strain. And then go ahead and allow your eyes to close. Just surrendering your physical body onto the mat. Try not to hold yourself in any particular posture. Just allowing the mat and the earth cradle you. While you're here, allow your attention and awareness to be with the breath. Feeling the rise of the back on your inhalations and the contraction of your belly on the exhalations. And allowing these breaths just to get deeper. body relaxed. Now whichever cheek or forehead you have on the ground, Carefully turn so that your right cheek is on the mat. As your right cheek places on the mat, slowly begin to extend your right arm overhead and reach your left hand back to that left foot, drawing your heel in towards your buttocks. Carefully letting go of the foot, left hand comes to the outside edge of your left armpit. Slide your right arm out to the right side, and then begin to push yourself over towards the right side, opening up the right shoulder, armpit, and pectoral. You can always feel free to keep your eyes closed so that it's 
inward of a practice. But if you prefer a soft gaze, just allow the eyelids to carefully part. coming back to center, extending the left leg and left arm out long, turn so the left cheek comes to the mat, right arm will reach down for the right foot, stretching out the right quadriceps. right armpit, left arm out to the left side, and roll over towards the left, opening up the pectoral, shoulder, armpit, Rolling back to center. Carefully extending the left arm out overhead. Stretch your right arm out to meet it. Inhale as you take a full body stretch. And then exhale, draw your elbows in towards your rib cage. Pressing down onto your palms and your forearms so that you find Sphinx pose. You can feel free to kind of move your head, neck, and shoulders around a bit. Beautiful. Now carefully lower back down. Stretch the arms out in front. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands underneath your armpits this time. Keep your shoulders rolling down and back. We're going to press down through our palms. Begin to straighten your arms. It's okay if your arms don't come all the way to straight. And just lower back down. Back and forth like that. Inhale, arms up. Chest up, gaze up. Exhale, lower down. Contracting the biceps and the triceps. Inhale. As you lift, expand, and rise. Exhale as you contract with control. Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Last round, best round. Exhale. Beautiful. Pushing your hips back to meet your heels. Find child's pose. So toes together, knees separate, chest to thighs, reaching the forehead to the floor. Keeping the arms active, really pressing through the palms, allowing the muscles to wrap around the bones. Just softening your hips to your heels with every breath. Keeping your left arm out in front, take your right arm and thread the needle through. Right cheek to the mat. Good. Release and switch. Good, bring it back to center. We're going to carefully roll up through our spine, 
finding a tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale when you arch. Exhale when you round, curve, contract. Inhale, big arch. Exhale, round, curve, contract. One more, inhale. One more exhale. Then finding a tall and neutral spine, we're going to begin to kind of swivel and circle the hips. So we're going to shift our hips forward, around to the right, circle them over to the left, and bring them back up. Just kind of juicing them up, right? We'll go four each way. Reverse. Beautiful. Now plant your palms, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. You want your ears to be about in between your biceps. Hips are up high, heels are stretching towards the mat, but not worried if they're touching the mat. Staying strong on your left hand, reach your right hand towards your left leg for a little twist. And then switch. Good, left hand down. From downward facing dog, we're gonna flow a little bit with that lower body. So inhale, reach your right leg high. Keep the toes pointing down while you're in three-legged dog. Exhale, take a big shift and step forward. Right foot will come in between your hands. So you can take one step or a couple steps as needed. Left hand down, right arm lifts, twist. Right hand down, left knee down, release the toes, shift forward, open up your heart, and breathe. Hands heart center, turn and twist. Left elbow to the outside edge of your right knee. Spiral your heart towards your thumbs. Bring it back to center. Hands to the mat. We'll shift our hips back, flex the right foot, Bow the head, neck, and shoulders over top of that right leg. Beautiful. Rolling forward onto that right foot. Tuck your left toes under, left knee lifts. Get strong in the legs, really squeezing through those inner thighs. Root down, rise up. Crescent lunge, back heels lifted. Chest is lifted. Arms are surrounding your ears. Energy through the fingertips. Open the body up wide, warrior two. Shoulders rolling back. Energy through the fingertips. Gaze over the right fingertips. Now, hands come down behind your back. We're going to interlace your fingers. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Open up your heart. And then 
bow your upper body forward for what we call humble warrior. Good, reverse, bring it back up. Carefully float those arms up. Flipping your front palm, reverse your warrior. Good. Cartwheel both hands down to the mat. Stepping your right foot back to meet the left. High plank. And then just shift your hips back to downward facing dog. Take a moment to kind of feel the difference between the right and the left side. And just know that we're going to go ahead and give the left side some love. So lift it on up, three-legged dog. Make sure those hips are square. So that foot is flexed and toes are pointing down to the ground. Good big step forward or a couple steps. Right hand down, left arm lifts. Good. Left hand down, right knee down. Release the right toes, shift the hips forward. Arms are surrounding the ears, heart is open, hips are open. Hands come to heart center, turn and twist. Right elbow to the outside edge of that left knee. Try and press the palms together as you spiral the heart towards the thumbs. Bring it back to center, hands to the mat, shifting your hips back, flex the left foot, bow your head, neck and shoulders. Using that breath to deepen each and every stretch. Good, roll forward, tuck the right toes under, get strong in the feet, squeeze and engage those inner thighs, root to rise. Again, biceps are surrounding your ears, energy through the fingertips, back heel is lifted for a crescent lunge. Now you're gonna get to see the backwards version this time. So you're gonna open up wide, for warrior two. Shoulders relax down, energy through the fingertips. Front toes are pointing forward. Back foot is on an angle. Steady gaze, hips tucked under, dropping the pelvis down. Hands come behind the back, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, chest towards your front thigh. Humble warrior. Good, reverse. Float the fingers, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Cartwheel, both hands, left foot steps back, and then shift your hips back, down dog. Well done. Let's drop down to our knees, cross our ankles, and have a seat. All right, we're gonna carefully extend our legs out front, maybe move any of the flesh out of the way. Toes are peeling back towards the face. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold and deepen. Allowing the upper body just to relax over top the lower body. Good. 
good rolling up through your spine. We're going to tuck our right knee in. Cross your right foot over top the left. Left elbow over top the right. Turn and twist. Now release the elbow, drop the knee out to the side, bending your left leg. We come into a figure four seated position. So opening up that outer hip rotator, just breathe and hold here. Now, first option is to always stay, or if you want to deepen this hip rotator stretch, you can cross the bottom leg under, ankle to knee, knee to ankle, so you are in a double-legged pigeon. Inhale here, first option to stay, or to start to hinge forward and stretch and breathe here. Get in. Uncross. Stretching the right leg out this time. Left leg in. Left foot over. Right elbow over. Turn and twist. Dropping the knee out to the side. Bending the opposite leg in. Figure four. Feel free to stay or cross ankle over knee, knee over ankle. Find the balance. Option one to stay upright. Option two to lean forward a little or perhaps a lot. Oof. It's okay if one side is tighter than the other. Mine for sure is. Carefully walk it in. Wow. All right. Uncross. Oof. Scooch forward on your mat so you got room for your back. We're going to hug the back of the thighs. Roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Ooh. 
with the feet about hip distance apart. Make sure your toes and your heels are parallel. Arms down at your sides. We're gonna inhale, lift our hips up. And align your hips with your knees and your shoulders. Maybe interlace your fingers and roll your shoulder blades back for option two. Then release the fingers, relax the hips, walk the feet out wide, and just windshield wiper the knees side to side. And then keeping the feet a little bit wider than hip distance, we're gonna allow the knees to fold in, creating a tent-like shape. And then arms are gonna fold in and just cross over top of the chest. Not actively hugging, just kind of melting and letting gravity hold them here. Eyes will carefully close and breathe. And then whichever arm you have on top, take a moment to swap so the opposite arm is folded first. Make sure not to tighten, not to grip, not to strain. Beautiful. And then uncrossing the arms. Allow your arms to unfold so that your palms are facing up. You can either choose to keep your legs exactly as they are, keeping the lower back protected. Or if you'd like to mimic the shape of the arms, stretch your legs out long. Allow them to relax, release, and roll open as we find our final pose. Rest, relaxation, and rejuvenation.
Carefully wiggling the fingertips and the toes. Possibly taking a full body stretch. Bend your knees and roll to the right side body. Utilizing the strength of your arms, but not too much effort. Pressing yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Facing forward, eyes closed, and hands heart center. And in our final moments of our physical practice together, I just want to thank you. Thank you for your open heart, open mind, and for your beautiful spirit. Thank you. And namaste. Amazing job. Thank you so much for stretching, breathing, and flowing with me today, beauty. You did an incredible job with that 30-minute yoga practice. Again, I'm Jillian at Sequin Jillian on Instagram, and I hope to move with you again soon. Lots of love.